Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is not a spotlight. But we do have an epic game here. You see we got kill on one team and Morgana on the other, so no one's gonna die because you just have bubbles, but anyway, Morgana running dodge seals instead of mana because she's good at this game. Kale missing some attacks, but really shouldn't matter. Somehow she has green dark bindings though, and somehow they have no cooldown. So this was a pretty balanced patch, I think. And wow, Kale somehow changing her skin mid-game. Now that is a unique talent. I want that for a passive. And Morgana clearly experiencing riot point envy, as she's got just the default skin and does not have that ability. But putting a sword into the ground is such a great idea as gets ganked by Nasus. The summoner has no map awareness whatsoever. I just don't understand that. But Rides, of course, feeling so good about one-shotting minions with spell flux, must have a ton of ability power there. And running across the map, meeting up with Alistair so that they can run together, using the buddy system across that bridge because safety in numbers is the right way to go. But at this blue turret, we see Cho'Gath defeating minions properly and uh, just nomming them away, but getting stunned by that tower and shaking it off. But it's Malady Monday, guys. Look at that attack speed. He's doing just so well with that, and his teammates must be raging so hard just the same. So there's that headbutt, getting him out of the way, and Ryze turning on Ghost so he can run faster, as all pros do, wasting the summoner spells with no combat going on at all. Great play, and, well, he does come across Master Yi, who is now locked into a duel with Katarina. Now, both players, of course, six Phantom Dancers, and let me just talk about those Phantom Dancers. Man, they're such great big items. I, I love them. So, moving on, as uh, Kale does a backflip, and by Kale, of course, I mean Katarina. Ash baiting her team in the brush, as all carries should do, never taking damage whatsoever. Warwick comes in to tag out Katarina, letting her take that break right there, and continuing to fail epically hard against Master Yi's dodge stats. But Ryze running across the map, coming in to tag out Yi. No, he's actually going to use Summoner Throw! That's a new one! Throws Yi across the map, charges up for <laughs> Warwick, and BAM! There's the one shot from Summoner Throw from full health. I think that's pretty imbalanced. I'll make sure we nerf that next patch. But Kale getting just knocked around by Nasus, taking a lot of damage. Morgana taking great pleasure in that conflict. Nasus is grouping up for his last fight, and oh no, Ryze is showing up. Finally, Rune Prison and Overload, knocking the teammates away. And here comes the amazing ultimate, and <laughs> there goes Nasus. A backflip or two. Ryze doing a very good job, and his next action will be, of course, handing, Hale, handing Kale her helmet back, as uh, helmet's greater than damage output. All the teams, of course, choosing to group up now. All the five players for each team, getting ready for minions to spawn in middle. Uh, you know, that Warwick taking Summoner Revive is, of course, the best choice, and the tank's in back, as this is the 600 ELO show match. Every player just spamming Slash Taunt, trying to look as menacing as possible without actually doing anything important. But there we go, Ryze running across the map, choosing to do what damage he can with his feet, jumping up into the air, and what will happen next? Well, I don't know, because my screen is frozen, and I can't commentate action that I can't see. But tune in next time when... The cycle of life and death continues.